Okay, so we're gonna show you something we're learning, using for reading. They're called secret stories. These are amazing. If you have a visual child, um, these just make so much sense. Oh, they help to make sense of English, um, which makes no sense at all once you get past the phonetic part of it, right? Okay, so they give you things like this, and on the back is a story for why these um, pairs make different sounds. So, for example, oh, Colt is gonna demonstrate. We've been working on these and they're amazing. Okay, so GH at the beginning of a word says, Gah, God, this is go right. Yep, and GH in the middle of a word says, It's silent. silent. GH at the end of a word says, I should be first. TH says, why? Why does it say because that? Because they're rude to each other. Okay. A-U and A-W. They say, aww. Because they're so in love whenever they're together. They say, aww. aww. W-H. Whenever it's together, it says. <laughs> Why does it say that? Because they're always exercising. They're always tired out. O-R. Whenever O-R are together. They say, or, 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 or. Why? Because they can't decide on what they're going to do. They can never make up their mind. C-H? C-H? They go. So there's a million, but one of our favorites that's been really helpful is Mama E. Mama E. When Mama E is next to or one away from another vowel, what does Mama E do? She says, you say your name. And then she's quiet. So, like, sight and sit. Sit. If you put Mama E at the end of sit, it makes I say its name. And so it says sight, sight. So they take the odd combinations that don't follow the uh, phonetic rules and give them stories behind why that the kids can quickly remember.